Hey guys, Saurav here and I'm back with another video on making GUIs or GUIs for your applications which use Python at the back end and HTML and JavaScript at the front end. I had previously done another similar video using Electron JS, so if you haven't already checked that out, you can do so by clicking the pop-out banner on the top right of the screen. So this time, we'll be making use of a little library called Eel to connect Python with HTML and JavaScript and use it to make desktop applications. I'll also be showing you guys how to package that app so you can distribute it to whoever you want. Eel makes it super freaking easy to add Python functionality to your JavaScript and it takes very few lines of code to get up and running with a basic Hello World app. So what I have here is one such app which generates a QR code from the supplied text and you can save it to your device by dragging it out like that. This app uses a nice polished frontend which I stole from the internet because I can't design frontends and all the QR code generation stuff happens back in Python which I did actually write. This strategy can be used when you are using Python for its strong suits like machine learning or deep learning libraries like NumPy, SciPy, and at the same time want to have a nice modern UI. Or just because, you know, you don't like coding in JavaScript. So let us get started with the code. The project structure is quite simple. And over here I have my Python file which houses all the QR code logic. And inside this web folder I have all the UI elements like my HTML files, my images and my CSS. I also have a icon file which I will be using later on while packaging my app. So let us view the index.html file for now. So over here in the HTML file there are three key areas which we need to focus on. So over here first up I have an input tag which will be used to get the input from the user. So now do keep in mind that this input is the data which you want to convert to a QR code. And the ID of this tag is data. After that, over here we have a button which will be used to initiate the process of creating the QR code. And at last over here we have an image tag which will be used to contain the QR code once it's generated. So coming back to the button, once we click it we want to trigger the action of generating a QR code. So we can probably write a function here saying generate QR code. And we can define that function in a new file Let's call that new file main.js and inside this file we have to first get the data from the input tag so we can do that by this line of code and now we have to send this part to python for actually creating the QR code but how do we do that? That is where eel comes in. We can simply head over to our terminal and type pip install eel. And since I'm going to be working with QR codes, I will also be installing PyQR code. So this should run a quick installation if you don't already have those packages. And once we have that, we are ready to roll. So let me now open the Python file which I have over here which generates the QR code. So this right here is the function which takes in the data and then it generates the QR code out of that. So now I want my front end to use this function from the Python side over in JavaScript. So to do that we can import eel and then initialize it like so. We will pass in the name of the directory where we have all our UI elements. So now let us write a dummy function so that we can get a feel of how eel works. So this function is a pretty simple function so it gets a dummy parameter and then prints that out. Then it returns a bunch of things. So it first up returns a string, then it returns an integer 1 and then it returns 1.2 which is a floating number and then it returns a boolean. Then it also returns a list of numbers and it also returns a dictionary. Now if we want to expose this function of ours to the JavaScript side we can do that by simply typing a decorator 
yield.expose. So when we decorate a function with yield.expose, it exposes that function to the JavaScript side so we can call this Python function from JavaScript. Now to start things off, we can simply type yield.start and then supply the first HTML file where we want to begin our application which would be index.html. We can also specify the size of the window to be created. So in this case I'll supply 1000 by 600. Now let's go back to our main.js file for just a second and now if we want to call that exposed python function from our javascript side we can simply do that by saying yield dot and then the name of the function so in this case the function was dummy and then we can specify a parameter saying this is yield or something and then to view the return values from the python side we can simply specify a callback function with the return value and then just console.log that return value. Now that we have this we go back to our index.html and to include eel in our javascript we can use this script tag and import eel.js. Since we are also using a separate file called main.js we can import that as well. So this would complete our app to a certain extent and now we can go back to our terminal and run the python file to see what we get. So as expected it pops open a nice UI for us and now let's also open the javascript console by pressing F12. So I'm now going to type in some dummy data and then hit QR code. And let's first go back to our terminal and as we can see I got a parameter and this is eel. So this is eel was the string which we sent from our javascript and it has been logged to the console or to the shell from the python side. So that's one good thing and if you go back to our javascript console we have a return value over here so the first thing we have is the string value and then 1, 1.2 and then true which has been casted from a python boolean to a javascript boolean and then we have a list and then we have an object with name eel. So as we can see we now received all of our different data types from our python side over to the javascript side. So now that we're successfully able to run Python functions from our JavaScript, we can now also decorate our generate QR function so that we can complete this application. So this is a pretty simple function. It uses the PyQR code library to create a QR code from the given data and then it converts that to a base64 encoded format, which I am returning to our JavaScript side so that we can use it over there to set our image tag. So over here I would not call the dummy function instead I would call yield.generateQR along with the data parameter which we have gotten from our input tag and in its callback I would define a function called setImage as a callback which we can define over here. So this function would get a return value from our python side and we'll just call it base64 over here and we will use we will get the element with the id qr which is in fact our image tag and set its source to base64 which we've gotten from our python side. So let's save everything we have here and go back to our application just close it out and then run it once more now we can type some text and as we can see we get a QR code successfully over here and maybe if we change the text a bit the QR code changes as well so there we have it our application is kind of complete and now for the final part I will be showing you guys how to package this app so that you can distribute it to whoever you want and they would not have to install any dependencies like python or pyqr code or eel or anything they can just click on the icon and it will just run seamlessly so to do that first off you'll have to install py installer so you can do that via pip 
and after that is installed you can hit the following command to make your application into a executable so I will specify the main python file which is our qr code.py and then next up we will specify the location of our UI files which is the web directory and then the following py installer flags which is no console and one file so these flags are py installer flags and you can use any valid py installer flags along with this command to customize the way your application is made So the process has completed and if you go back to our directory we have a folder called dist inside of that we have an application called qr code and if we double click this it will open up our ui and we can just type whatever you want and get the qr code from over there so this final executable file you can generate for any valid os and you can distribute it and anyone will be able to use it without having to install any dependencies also if you want your application to have a icon of your own do make sure you have a valid icon file so for macOS it would be a .icns file and for windows it would be a .ico file and you can also specify that along with the build process with this following flag and it would create a application with that particular icon so that's been it for this video guys I hope you guys liked the video and you learned something new all of the code mentioned here will be on my github profile which is linked in the description below along with some other useful links and yeah thanks for watching